Hello everyone, Byron here for Who the Hell Asked, and uh, like my co-host Slade last week, this week I will be taking a look at the Super Mario Bros. Wonder trailer, analyzing it, and giving you all the, the little details. So let's get started. We have the opening intro of the game. Yeah, with this little, little flower. And yeah, uh, the flowers talk, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so the flowers in this game, let me go back a uh, a little bit. But yeah, the flowers talk. Yeah, they talk now. <laughs> the flowers talk. They're fully voice acted. It's unknown who is the voice actor, at least in the USA, for this flower. I don't know if it's Martinet or not, but yeah, we see the flower. We can already see the new art style. And let me go back a little bit here. And uh, Mario is actually doing what I'm doing right now. Like three quarter... 75% facing the camera, unlike in uh, Super, uh, Super Mario Brothers, the new series, where Mario was like, like this, like just looking straight forward. Now Mario's looking at a little bit of an angle. And you can already tell the new art style, and it looks pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We'll see it more in action here in a little bit. Yeah, look at this. The background looks gorgeous. Everything in this scene just looks looks gorgeous. The brand new art style. It's not the new Super Mario Bros. art style, which is an absolute relief for the first new uh, 2D Mario in about 10 or 11 years, which is crazy it's been that long. Now, yes, there was the Mario Maker series, but that's com a completely different sub-series. And yes, even though Mario Maker 2 had Nintendo-created levels, you can't do crazy shit. In Mario Maker 2 too much. Yeah, and look at that. You get an entire... And now let me slow this down a little bit here. When Mario grabs the mushroom... Look at this. When Mario grabs the mushroom... Look at that. It shows all... There we go. It shows all of the cycle of him going from the mini... Teeny weeny Mario to the big boy Mario. Let me... Click back here. As it go through. Look at that. Oh no! <laughs> the poor Goomba. The poor Goomba. The Goombas look great here as well, by the way. But look at look, this poor Goomba has has a has a little like sleeping either a snot bubble or like an air bubble. And look at this. Bam. Get st get stomped on. And, uh, yeah, apparently now we have, like, we have, like, a trick system. Or we have a trick scoring system, because we have good, and then Mario gets great and super, and all that. Look at that. Oh, and look at this level. Look at this jungle level. We got the music note blocks. We got the piranha plants. And it appears that we, there is a point in this level where you can more than likely Go into the background, because uh, if you look over over here, and I probably should have my cursor be able to capture, but uh, if you look around over, over here where my mouse cursor is, uh, you can see there are some question mark blocks in the background. So it's more than likely you'll be able to go into the background, at least for this level. You got the Piranha Plants who, oh lordy, they're out. Look at that. They got the little legs. They're out in action. And they're coming after you. Oh no, God, like a horror movie. Ooh, they're coming after you. Oh, look at... Okay, so we have our first, I believe, brand new enemy in this trailer. Look at them. The giant, circular hippos. They, they, look, so, they look so goofy. They look so goofy, so fun. And we also have this 10 coin, which I think they're going to call it the, the Wonder coin. It would make sense. There's, there's another item called the Wonder, called a, a Wonder Seed we'll get into later on. But uh, yeah, and there's also apparently 10 or 3 of these 10 Wonder coin things or purple coin things throughout this level. So I don't know if those are going to be considered a collectible or not. And then look at this. We have the... <laughs> Look at this one dude over here. He's scared as shit. Because <laughs> he's about to get rolled over by this hippo. This uh, 
Oh, God. Goombrat? I think those were called. Yeah, those are called the Goombrats. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you get... Oh. And we have all the, the funny combo words. We had good earlier, great, super, fantastic, excellent, incredible, and of course, wonderful. Gotta end on wonderful. Yeah, the good was in white, great is in, like, yellow, super in orange, fantastic in pink, excellent in, like, a darker shade of blue, incredible in a lighter shade of blue, of blue like, a more, like, teal blue, and then wonderful in this purple gradient. Oh, and look at this. Look at this right here. So, on this level, Mario is, like, riding, like an escalator rail, and then he can jump up and, like, hang ride, like, wall ride, or roof ride, which is crazy. And then collecting more of those ten coins, which activate more coins. And, and this level also looks really cool. Looks like a, like a cave being built or something. And then we have this cloud dude over here. Just menacing. Menacing looking. We got this nice little beach level. With rain clouds that move up and down. So that's going to be a bit interesting. You can swim up the rain clouds. This flower saying, hey, yeah. We have like a fall level with Koopas. <laughs> with Koopas on roller. Per I think those are pink. Pink Koopas on roller skates. Pink Koopas on roller skates. That, that's, that's so cool. That's so cool. And Mario going through a pipe. I assume that pipe animation is only just for this trailer. I doubt this would happen for every pipe. And who knows if you could even go through that pipe in the actual game. Because, you, yeah, you could just, like, jump on top of it. So I assume you won't be able to get on, get, go into one side of the pipe and come out the other. But And now this is where it gets trippy. So we see this wonder flower, and shit gets trippy. In this instance, the pipes are going up and down. There are these little, little purple coins. And they're like, they're, they're fractions. They're fractions of a coin. Let's see if I can go back and slow it down and show when Mario collects one. Because as you can see up top over here, there's a decimal place, which means those tiny pink coins have less of a value. And let's stop right there. Yeah, Mar so each one, since Mario, it looked like he collected two of them, it appears that each of these tiny purple coins have a 0.1 value, which is really interesting. And of course, in this demo, they, they miss the one... <laughs> They miss one coin. Yeah. Yeah, and then look at this. The pipes start moving. They start moving. They start going... Whoa, 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 whoa. And in this level, there's a lot more of these purple hippos. And if you look over here, and we'll get into this a little bit more later. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a little, little seedling thing. It's like a little seedling thing. Oh, and then we have this. This is really good. This is really good. So we have, first off, Stretch Goomba over here. <laughs> look, at, look at this dude. That's so cursed. It's Stretch Goomba. But then, look at this. We have Stretch Mario. So as Mario goes, mwomp, the background also goes, mwomp, like stretches up. And the vibe, I'm getting... Oh, that one Donkey Kong Country Returns level. I cannot think of the name of it right now. Off of the top of my head. And I hate that. But if you play Donkey Kong Country Returns, you know that one, like, sunset level? That's kind of the vibe I'm, I'm, I got from this level. And then look at this. Bop! <laughs> you can jump. Long Mario, tall Mario. Long, tall, and handsome. If you get that reference. Um... It's cursed, but, and, and it looks like Mario can also turn into this spike ball, going through this, this other cavern level, smashing through the, blick, the brick blocks, 
collecting more of these tiny purple coins. And these three flowers right here say, roll, roll, roll. We have a stampede of, like, sheep bull <laughs> who can take out the flagpole. Oh, yes, spoilers, the flagpole. The flagpole is back in action. Would have preferred to see something new besides the flagpole, but it is what it is. And then, yeah, you collect the Wonder Seed, which seems to be the new Star Coin equivalent. So, it seems like in this level, there's two. I don't know if every level, and let me move my webcam really quick to show y'all. So, yeah, there's, there's two of these Wonder Seeds in, at least in this level that they're, they're playing in the demo. We don't know, or in this trailer, we don't know if... If there will always be just two Wonder Seeds, or if some levels will only have one, some levels will only have three or more, but... Yeah. And then we get the title reveal, Super Mario Wonder. I think it's a good title. I know I've seen some people on the internet say it should have been called Super Mario Bros. Wonderland. And I'm like, yeah, that would really fit well. Same thing with a lot of people had issue with, with Balan Wonder World's title. It should have been Wonderland. Because it rolls off the tongue easier. But I'm, I'm, all, I'm fine with the title. Maybe that'll be the sequel. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Wonder Land. That could be the sequel. But here's where we get crazy shit. Confirmation. Other playable characters. That's right. We can play as other playable characters. As other playable characters. And we get a look at the world map. It looks like the first level is going to be named Welcome to Flower Kingdom which I assume was the level we have been seeing in the trailer. Uh, the live system, unfortunately, is back. I'm not a big fan of that, in, in my opinion. Lives have been forever useless in platformers for decades now, but maybe there will be a toggle to turn it on and off, but we'll see. It also shows how many Wonder Seeds you have, how many coins you have, so coins seemingly transfer over. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. And same thing with these uh, purple coins, or as I'm calling them, the wonder coins. I don't know if that's going to be their official name. I just feel like it will, but... Yeah, and uh, the levels also have names. They're no longer, like, 1-1. One, one. Now, I know New Super Mario Bros. U had, uh, like, World 1-1 one, one, and then an actual name, but it's cool to see, like, just the levels having actual names. And yeah, this is the Flower Kingdom now, <laughs> which makes sense. I assume we'll be seeing a lot of different flower variant power-ups and it also shows on the little screen how many wonder seeds there are the difficulty and uh, on the world map look at this ring right here uh that ring uh below the level is blue because it's completed and it looks like there will be a red ring for uh incomplete levels then we get the name of the second level piranha plants on parade which i assume was uh that other level that we saw in the trailer it's got a little difficulty. It's got two wonder seeds to it. But yeah, and you can also play as Peach. And this also does confirm you can pick any playable character in single player, which is really cool. That's, that's dope. I know a lot of people are going to be Luigi mains. I know some Yoshi mains. Oh yeah, spoilers. Yoshi's going to be here. Peach mains. And we have the scared chipmunk looking creature <laughs> scared for its life in this beautiful looking level <laughs> oh no yeah peach has the float ability we have yellow toad aka a la gold playable here we have daisy daisy making her very first appearance in a in a 2d mario game as a playable character not her first appearance in general in a 2d mario she was in super mario land one and also, let me head back real quick, because I forgot to, to say, yeah, we have some, like, puffer fish, so it looks like there's going to be, a, like, a, like, a fish bouncing level where there's, like, oh, you, good luck, you got to bounce um, on all of these fish uh, to get to, like, the end. And then, yeah, we have this little, little, like, uh, foresty level with this uh, sledge bro looking ass dude. With the push hands. Maybe it'll be a push bro. But look at this. <laughs> you can push the pipe. That's 
hilarious that you can push the pipe and that Daisy is winning this battle. Now we get a look at Bowser's new ship, which I am getting uh, Starship Mario from Galaxy 2 <laughs> vibes from this. Uh, and it looks like we're in like a like a little rock cavern forest right here. And yep, of course, multiplayer is revealed. And it looks like some spots uh, will need to be unlocked with uh, the Wonder Seeds, which will, be, which will be interesting. Curious how many of those we unlock. Yep, three-player co-op. Additional accessories may be required for multiplayer, of course. And it looks like <laughs> this Wiggler is chasing after him on this ra rail section. Wow, Zippy. Yeah, th thank you, Flower. <laughs> the Flower doesn't have a name, but... And then, yeah, this Wiggler has roller skates. Surprising number of enemies have roller skates. We got one of these... I think it looks like a ghost house. Which, if that's the case... That's really cool. And it looks like we have another level which points more evidence towards the going into the background and then going back to the foreground type level design, which was actually first seen, uh, at least to my knowledge, in the game uh, Mutant Muds, if you've never heard of that game. Decently fun platformer, by the way. Water levels are back. We have some glow in the dark. Oh, we got some dark levels. That's going to be that's going to be interesting to work with. But the Wonder Seed like glows even more in these types of levels. And uh oh yeah, lives are shared. Uh I believe that was the case in Super Mario 3D World uh plus Bowser's Fury, the Switch version and the Wii U version. So lives are shared between players, I assume. Uh, when one player dies, the whole group gets like five extra lives, but that's just, of course, an assumption if uh, if that was indicative of the new games, because I think that's how those also work, the new Super Mario Bros. games. We have this little, like, fall, like, sort of cloud level with these <laughs> these um plant-looking things that Mario's just going to go kabam to. Oh, yeah. Hello, Yoshi. How are you doing? But yeah, good, great, super fantastic, excellent, incredible. And, oh yeah, there is a crown over uh, whoever is player one. Because uh, Mario's got that crown. Now, I, I could be wrong. Maybe the crown is for whoever was winning. But it look, to me, it p looks like the crown shows who's player one, who's the host, and whatever. That ground pound. Yeah, Yoshi is here. And Mario can ride Yoshi. So in multiplayer, if you have one homie playing as Yoshi and you're playing as Mario, you can hop on your homie and have them play the level. And we also have these cool little crystal crystal guys that look like something straight out of Pokemon. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But we also have this like little like dark cloud level, which looks kind of neat. It's time to fly. And look at that. You can use your hat. As a little, like, parasol. I think you could do that in... No, I don't think you actually could in Mario Odyssey. And also, look, we have the checkpoint. The checkpoint is back once again. We have this little, like, knight, like, little flower that does stuff like that. 25-second little area. So, we have, we have this dude who looks like... Bowser Jr., if Bowser Jr. had a goth emo face. And yet, look at that dude. Look at him. Let me go back here. Look at this dude. Kind of looks terrifying. So, I, if I had to make an educated guess, Bowser Jr. is more than likely in this game. And of course, Bowser's in the game. We saw a ship earlier. But I'm pretty sure this confirms that at least Bowser Jr. is also in the game. We have a little, little snow level. It looks like we got an auto-scroller. I think we have an auto-scrolling level. Yeah, because this, this to me looks like it's auto-scrolling. Yeah, so auto-scrollers are 100% confirmed to be in this game. Hopefully in a limited capacity. And it does look like it's on a snow level. It's at least something different. I don't think there's been many, if any, auto-scrolling like winter or snow-themed levels. Of course, everybody can play 
the same character, at least for the Yoshis. There's four different colored Yoshis. There's there's green, there's yellow, there's red, and there's a light blue. Sorry, dark blue Yoshi lovers. Sorry, black Yoshi lovers. And it looks like Torp... Now, I don't know if that's Torpedo Ted or, or as I'm going to dub him for now, Missile Mike. Because that... Because I think Torpedo Ted's were a little bit stockier. Like, they were a little thinner than Bullet Bills, but not this thin. And it looks like they shoot paint out of the back. Like, this one's shooting, like, like a, like a yellow into red. This one's shooting a yellow into, like, a darker yellow. This one's shooting a yellow into a green. This one's shooting, like, a purple. This one's shooting orange. And then there we go. The flagpole. And look at this. We have a little, like, plant toad. We have a little plant toad. And we get to see the nice little, little course clear celebration. We have this little, little wiggler who looks like he's a, like a prince or something. Uh, and it looks like, at least in this first level that we see, you get a wonder seed for clearing the course. Now, I... I don't know if that will be the case for every level, if you get at least one Wonder Seed for automatically just finishing the level, or if there is uh, some other prerequisite, like you have to hit the top of the flagpole, because that's what uh, all four of these guys did. All four of these players did in the video, because they got the wonderful flagpole, so I assume, if I had to take a guess, if you get the top of the flagpole, that's when you receive the course clear wonder seed and now again i don't know if every level will have this it's very possible every level will have that but i'm not sure but that would be kind of cool if it was it gives you more incentive to try to hit the top of the flagpole but yeah uh yeah, super mario bros wonder it's coming out uh on october 20th 2023 which funny enough is the same day as spider-man 2 <laughs> for the ps5 <laughs> But we ain't done with this trailer yet. Nice little transition. Yeah, so we have a brand new power up. Um, it's just it's it's a apple with elephant ears and a the elephant trunk. And when Mario collects it, he turns into an elephant. He turns into a damn elephant. Let me let me slow it down. Let me slow it down for you all. So you all can see the horror transformations that happen. So Mario's looking to pick it up. Oh, God, yeah, he's looking a little chunky there with the elephant legs. Oh, dear God, yeah, that is, that is some horrifying stuff right there. Yeah, he goes from whoop, and then he goes like, uh, like that long Mario earlier, whoop, back down. And then he, he gets to his final ultimate transformation. There we go. Look look at this lad. There, there's probably great fan art and weird fan art. And I know there's also apparently a Mario 64 ROM hack already called Elephant Mario, I think, or something like that. That's already out. That has the Mario... That has this in Mario 64. Like, well, the Mario model is changed to look like Elephant Mario. And look at this. This Goomba... Yeah, the flower is like, oh, that Goomba looks serene, and then Mario's like, fuck you, Goomba. <laughs> and just look at the he sheer terror of getting knocked out by the elephant. And I believe the elephant Mario didn't even use a foot. Elephant Mario used the trunk. Bam. Bam. Let's slow let's slow that down one more time. Yeah, there we go. I'll I'll slow it down just a little bit just for you all. Yeah, it uses the trunk, it goes like Mwah. Like a little, little flick. Oh, yeah. And also, just like in 3D World and the new Super Mario Bros. series, uh, it looks like we have the return of the store item. So, yeah. Uh, now, interestingly, in four-player, I'll go back to the elephant real quick. I will point out in four-player, it looks like there's only one slot, which could be interesting. Now, we didn't see them get a power up in four player so maybe the box will expand or maybe there'll be like an x4 like over here but 
I just figured that was interesting to point out. And then bam. <laughs> Gotta see that again one more time. Yeah, and look at that. And yeah, that is uh that's Super Mario Wonder, and we have one last oh we have one last page to look at over here, which is the Super Mario Wonder Nintendo product page. So the price, uh it will be fifty nine ninety nine, so it's not gonna be seventy bucks like Tears of the Kingdom was. Uh yeah, official uh Next evolution of classic side-scrolling Mario. It's turned on his head with the addition of Wonder Flowers. Yeah, so officially those are called the Wonder Flowers. Uh, pick from heroic Super Mario characters and power-ups. And so far, uh, yeah, we have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi, and Toad. As playable characters, you can pick any of them, which is really cool. I will probably be just a Mario main, but who knows? I've seen people theorize Yoshi does have the flutter jump. So maybe each character will have special abilities, which could be really interesting. If so, I could see the typical Mario's the all-arounder, Luigi is has the higher jump, uh, Peach and Daisy will probably both have the like the princess glide, Yoshi will have the flutter, and probably Toad will be like faster than than the rest. But uh but yeah, and uh, the last little detail that I will share, because there's obviously four, there's obviously four player co-op in this game. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's up to three friends locally. So unfortunately, there is no online multiplayer. Which, once again, Nintendo has done this with a game that has multiplayer but should have online. <laughs> Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. <laughs> but yeah. What, single system, one four player action, and it's uh, 4.5 gigs, which uh, is 2.5 gigs larger than a uh, new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Switch. So, is it just because there's full voice acting now with the flower, or is the game bigger? I I think the game is a bit bigger, but it's going to be very interesting to see this game. But yeah, uh, that is my uh, trailer analysis. Oh, and we do have some screenshots, yeah. Most of these screenshots are stuff we've already seen in the trailer. We got the water levels. We got the bullets. But yeah, uh, that will be it for uh, my analysis of uh, the Super Mario Bros. Wonder uh, Nintendo Direct trailer. And uh, yeah, tune in next week uh, to who the hell asked for your dose of gaming news and uh, future analysis we decide to do. But yeah, hope you all have a good day, good night, and goodbye.